Oh my god, hello. I wish we could talk face to face, or I hope you could come to Tokyo. Maybe let's start more from the beginning. Hi friends, it's Sherry here, and in this video we are currently on a 5 a.m. subway to get to the airport because we are flying to Korea to go to a Sheed fan sign. If you couldn't tell, she's already stressed as fuck because the fan sign is 8 p.m. that day. She basically needs to get to Korea, go put all her stuff at the hostel, and then get to the fan sign. And this is all because she did not expect to actually win the fan sign, so very little time was spent on planning. Mind you, this wasn't my first time going to Seoul. I was pretty familiar with Seoul, so that's why I felt confident doing this. If this is your first time going to Korea, do not do like a day thing like make get there a day before get there two days before just to work out the subway system and all that but i was feeling both confident and extremely nervous for people unfamiliar with a fan sign you basically buy albums and then the website that's running it will put you through a raffle and if you get picked you get to go to the fan sign i had previously been to the roses fan sign in seoul but i was even more nervous for sheets fan sign just because i had had fan calls of jamin for about nine months at that point and it was so nerve-wracking and exciting to think about seeing him in person finally. Here's a shot of Da Xing Ji Chang in Beijing. It looked really, really pretty. It was my first time there, actually. My flight got delayed and I was so, so nervous because they wouldn't tell us how long it was delayed for. And I was just sat there waiting, being like, if I miss this fan sign, I might just cry like at the airport, just start sobbing. Thankfully, the plane was only delayed about an hour and a half. I had plenty of time to go through airport customs, to get to the hostel, put all my things down, do my makeup, and here I am on the bus on the way to the fan sign place. I really wanted to get there slightly earlier because it was an address I'd never been to before, and I had a lot of issues trying to look up the address on neighbor maps, but in the end, we found it. And some of the next footage is where the exciting stuff starts. Hi hey friends, it's Editing Cherry here, and we're just going to fill you in on some more info about how exactly the fan meeting went. So once I got there, I did luckily end up making friends of two other greenies who spoke English. Um, one had been living in Korea for oh, five years, I think, and one had like flown in from Taiwan. And I was just like happy to have someone to talk to. I was so, so nervous and I had nothing prepared because I just came from the airport. But they um, supplied me with like pens and these little sticky things you can post-its you write your name on as well as like the post-its you can use to ask them questions. I thought it would be supplied by the venue. It was not. So if you ever go to a fan sign, just know you have to bring these things on your own. Um, you pick where you want the members to sign specifically. And then so when it was time to get ready for the fan sign, I was still writing in questions. But I went to go get the album. Um, they check your ID to make sure you're the same person as the person who like won it actually is. They check your ID. They give you an album. And then basically you just kind of just get to go in and wait for things to start. I um, was really speed writing down the question I wanted to ask, which is like just uh, my sad attempts at uh, Korean, but your favorite emoticon, which is kind of like your favorite emoji. Because originally I wanted to ask them what their uh, representative animal emoji was, but the fan at the venue told me actually the company decides. So I was like, oh, I can't ask them that. So let's ask them what their favorite emoji is for fun. And then, yeah, I set up, I don't have a camera. A lot of their Korean fan sites have like these giant cameras, which I'm so jelly of. But I just had my two phones. I asked um, the, one of the girlies, a girlie from Taiwan, if like when it was um, my turn, could you go and like help film me? And I would record everything on this phone. That's like a higher quality. Also, you when you get your album, you get to like you pick in a blind box. Like you kind of pick randomly pick which number you are. I got number thirty, and that is the order in which you go up to get your shit signed. I got number 30. There were only 30 people. I was last. And I was just like, 
Oh, like, that is actually a good thing, because sometimes when you're last, you get a little more time with them, just because staff are a little bit more, um, relaxed. They're not, like, you know, you're last, and they're like, okay, after this one, everything's done. But I was so nervous. I'm like, I have to sit there the whole time. And also, because I was 30, you kind of sit in number uh, order. I was sat at the way back. Funny thing, I was sat next to Jam Jam. If you know, if you follow any of the Korean fan sites on Twitter, Jam Jam is like Taemin's like biggest uh, Korean fan site. She is so nice in person. Uh, we had like a, a short little conversation of like, oh, I'm from I'm from America and I'm here to see Taemin. And she's like, oh, wow. <laughs> but yeah, so here's actual footage of when they walked into the venue and I was so nervous. Oh, <laughs> 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 First up is Yuo, and I'll just say a little bit before I show you the clip, but his signature is so adorable! Look at that! I'm covering up the part where they wrote my name, because I actually um, had them write my like it, my government name that I don't really use on the internet, but so I'm covering that up. He also completely ignored the question, but that's fine. But his signature is so cute! He is so handsome in person like oh my god I was shook if but yeah I basically just talked to him a little bit about like how I was an American fan his English his English is so good he has like a really clear like like accent he speaks very clearly in English and I was just like oh, your English is so good and he's just like thank you and he said most memorable thing he's like you your hair is like a rock star and I'm like he's like you look like a rock star and I'm like Sir, you're the superstar here. You're the idol calling me a rock star. Like what? But yeah, here's so here's a clip. <laughs> Okay, next is Bao, and I absolutely adore Bao because he's so funny. And also, we had um, a previous video call before. So me and Bao, actually, our style is a little bit similar. We have, like, um, the same necklace from the brand Black Purple. I did not know he had it. He pointed it out in the video call. He's just like, that necklace, I have one. And I'm like... And I was talking to him, like, how we have um, similar tattoos, because he has a hand tattoo that's a smiley, and I have a hand tattoo that's a smiley. So we have, like, a little bit of a similar style. I really like his fashion, and I really like his voice. For his signing, it was just very simple. Again, covering the name. He also completely ignored... He ignored my post-it, but that's okay, because we, we spent a lot of time just, like, talking. And he's just so sunshiny in person? I don't know how to explain it. You can watch the clip. <laughs> Oh, 
Next is Doa, and uh, when I tell you guys, I was so shook at this interaction. But here is Doha's signature, and he actually did draw his favorite emoticon emoji, which is like the side eye, like sweat drops. So for Doha, when I made the She the Dreamland reaction video, right? I made that for the fans to watch, you know. When I had my fan call with Doha, I made that in December, and my fan call with Doha in March, and he's like, you look familiar, and I'm like, why? Why do I look familiar? This is my first meeting. He's like, and he's just like, you Jamin fan. I'm like, he's like, I saw your video. It was in English. I didn't understand all of it, but you're a Jamin fan. I'm like, Jesus, Doha. Jeez, why do you remember? And now this is August. This is now five more months after that. I was like, he's not going to remember. There's no way. So I literally said to him, like, oh, it's nice to meet you for the first time. Like, um, And he was just like, you see it in his face. He's just like, hmm, something's not right here. And then he actually remembers. He actually remembers Doha. Don't bah. stop remembering. Don't remember. You don't need to remember me. <laughs> and you, 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 you'll see. You'll see what happens. <laughs> Oh, my dear. Next up, we have Shun, and okay, when I tell you, he is so gorgeous in real life. Like, I walked up to him, he had a flower crown, I was like, oh, you are so pretty. And that's his signature here, and he actually did answer the question too. His favorite emoji, or like emoticon, I think, this is more like an emoticon pack, is Lupi. And I think if you use Cacao or Naver, it, you can download a Loopy pack, and Loopy is like, it's a pink hamster bear VR VTuber thing. I uh, know I've seen like Loopy give interviews and stuff, and it's really very interesting to see. But yeah, so that is his favorite emoji pack, I'm guessing, and it, which is like really kind of cute. But he has some of like the calmest energy I've ever seen. With I'm like nervous as and like yeah you know but he was just like i will say i think his korean uh, his korean his english might have been like the least fluent out of the other members but he was so very patient when i was just like i am sorry my korean is shit and he's just like mm, okay and he, when when i didn't understand something he would like repeat it slowly because he i think he believed that if he spoke slowly enough and separated the syllables out enough that I would understand and somehow that worked. So yeah, here is um interaction with Shin. <laughs> <laughs> the next up is my bias, Jamin, and oh my gosh, I'm already getting like oddly emotional. So I, he was the first one that caught my eye. 
um, when I watched the Seed Dreamland music video. And he was the first one I had a fan call with. We had our first fan call at Christmas. And then we've kind of just been having fan calls <laughs> for about nine months now. So it was like, we, there's like some connection, but I obviously wasn't going to be like, he definitely knows me. He knows who I am kind of fan. I was just like, you know, it'd be nice to see him in person. And I like love all the sheet members, but like Damon, just because I got to know him a little bit more, I think he is so sweet. Um... A lot of times in fan calls, he is trying his absolute hardest to figure out what the fuck I'm saying, because his English isn't great, my Korean is terrible, so a lot of times we're just, like, kind of staring at each other, like... But he is always, like, just so happy, and I always tell him, like, you know, you're doing so well, you're doing so good, and, like, every time we have a fan call, I am also very nervous, but afterwards, I'm just so happy. He is so, so sweet, and he is so, so talented, and a lot of times, we just kind of end up, like, just kind of singing shiny songs, or just talking about shiny or stuff like that, and it's like a writing joke that we, like, kind of end up singing to each other in some fan calls, and I didn't really think, like, oh, maybe he'll recognize me, maybe not, but it's okay, because they, they do so many fan calls, they have so many um, fan meetings, too, they're meeting a lot of people, it's fine. But the moment he, like, saw me, and then, like, the the surprise face, I was like, oh my god! And, um, I was still, like, you know, like, nice to meet you for the first time, he's like, no, 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 and he started singing Epic Highs 1 to me, which, so, in one of the fan calls, I was... I just got off the plane and I was going to go see Epic High in Boston. And so I'm like, I am so sorry. I missed like the previous calls. Like I'm I, like, it's loud here. I'm at the airport. I'm going to go see Epic High. He's like, I love Epic High. And he's like, I'm so jealous. I want to go. And I, I, I had his photo card with me. So I'm like, we're together. You're like, we're going to this together. And he was really happy. So I ended up holding up his photo card for a little bit of Epic Highs 1, because that's the song he was singing in that call. And then in another call, I was like, hey, can I show you something? <laughs> and I showed it, like, holding up his photo card as Tableau's jumping on stage to one. And it was just, it was a cute moment. And he remembered that, and he just started singing Epic Highs 1 to me. And I'm just like, oh my god, what's going on? Because I, I completely didn't expect that. But yeah. If I could, I'm going to show you the sign. Okay. But it's... It's... <laughs> it's... it's Yeah. So... So... At, 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 like... Yeah. So... He drew me? He literally... Like, what's your favorite emoticon? Me. Sir, I am not an emoticon. But he drew me. And then he wrote... His signature is so cute. It has a smiley too. But he wrote... He wrote that to my, and then it's my name, and I'm like, sir, <laughs> da. But I uh, will tell you more about that at the end of the the, the bit. Okay, so go watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you I was shaking the whole damn time. But anyway, that is it for, like, my interactions with them. They, at the end of the fan sign, they had a little photo session with some of the props. Um, they did a lot of poses. And they also danced to Blue. So I, I got to see them dance to Blue live. And I will put a bit of that um, at the end of here. I just needed to tell y'all that right after the fan sign, and I was, like, out having food with um, some of the other greenies, I made a decision that I called up my friend Rev, who you might know if you've seen my um, other vlog about when I went to go see the Rose, but yeah, <laughs> we called up Rev at like, we messaged Rev at like 2 a.m. being like, hey, are you free <laughs> for a tattoo one of these days in the morning? And I got this tattooed, um, one of my other greenie friends 
a friend I made there got um, something that the boys drew tattooed and it was just so fun because I was telling Rev and Chakto about like what went on at the fan sign and just like giggling and having the time of my life but yeah we got this tattooed right next to um my tattoo of a defilia gray so yeah so um here's the rest of some other stuff that happened at the fan sign <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 